there, welcome. You're outdoors in the 608. My name's Jeremiah. I sure appreciate you stopping by. In this video, I got a load of tree service wood here. And I'm gonna show you what what and how I uh, prep my tree service wood and how you know it comes in and what who I work with and what I do, my process. I also wanna know what your process is. Do you get tree service wood? Let me know. But uh, this is a load of shake bar kickery. Uh, there is some cherry in it. Just a little bit. That was an added bonus. Um, the shake bar kickery tends to be a little bit uh, stringy, but all in all, it's good wood. Uh, there is some, it's not, not as high quality as usually I get, but I mean, there is some rot or whatnot, but um, and then, you know, it's tree service wood, okay? So you get pieces like that. Uh, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna process that. Being that it's hickory, I probably will take the time and do it. Um, but, so the my main tree service guy I work with, his name is Matt. Uh, the name of his company is Two Guys in a Chainsaw. Um, extremely nice guy, I met him I think he had like an ad on Marketplace for some free wood. He was in the area in town cutting a tree and uh, I responded and came and ever since then we've had a great relationship. Uh, so what happens is he calls me the day or a couple days before the job. Um, I take my truck, usually the trailer, um, to the job site and either the night before or the morning of the job and park it close to the job and he has a key to my truck and he can move it drive in the backyard whatever um, and they cut the tree down fill my truck up and let me know when it's ready and then i come and get it so uh i all i have to do is drop the truck off and pick it up Um, and then unload it, of course, but it's a great setup. Um, I highly recommend if you can find someone you can trust, like I trust Matt, um, to do that. And you know, it works out great. He's mainly the only tree service I'm working with right now. He's keeping me pretty busy. I would say I get a load every week and a half or so average. Um, I'm, I'm keeping ahead of it, but if you can find, like I said, if you can find, you know, a good tree service to work with like that, I highly recommend it. And when he's uh, cutting, he knows what I do. I do firewood, I do quality stuff. And he knows that, you know, I like 16 inch rounds. And even, I know I've showed this before, but even when they're walking down a log, cause they are hand loading this. He doesn't, he has equipment, but he doesn't like dragging around. So when my truck and trailer's on the job, all they do is bring the chip truck and you know, they have my truck. So uh, it, it's a win-win situation. But even when they're walking down a log, see that mark? They're keeping in mind that I want 16 inch pieces. So I can get two 16s out of that. I mean, that's, I've, I didn't even ask him that. I don't know. He just started doing it. I think that's really awesome. All right, Jeremiah. Down 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 43 pieces. That's some good stuff. Um, right here's another one. All these. I think that's awesome, you know? And, that, and whenever I, you know, I always thank him, of course, and he always says, you know, it's a win-win. We're both winning, with, it's helping us both out. Um, it's a great situation, but enough of that. Um, I am going to, get this 
uh, cherry cut up and I'm gonna use the bucket and then put it over there I have another pile of cherry over there and then uh, I'm gonna get this hickory cut up and I'm gonna stack it here I always stack it on pieces of wood to keep it off the ground and then I'm gonna take a couple couple of the big chunks I can get some nice quality splits out of put them on the 22 RS and see if I can make some uh, some quality splits like this this other hickory this is smooth bark hickory um, I know it's probably not gonna be as nice but we'll see uh, I'm gonna get busy I hope you stick around
Okay, that is all cut up. Not a bad pile. I put the chunks and short cuts off over here. I will split them and make them into chunks. But you sure can't argue with a pile of load like that. Um, took me about a little over an hour to get her done. In case you're wondering, I used the steel MS 400C to cut it, 25 inch bar. Works good. Uh, now we'll go over here. I got the two big rounds in the bucket of the tractor. We'll fire up the splitter and see if we can't make some nice looking wood out of it. Let's go.
that a beautiful thing or what? Awesome. Now I got the totes filled. I can start another one. I was kind of concerned with the shag bark hickory because it usually is a little bit stringy how this would turn out, but uh, it seemed to split just as much, just as well as that uh, smooth bark hickory. So that's good. This is the stuff with the bark. I'll just I'll stack that in the shed over there. Um, so you know this is how uh, I process my tree service wood. And this is my relationship with the tree service. Um, Usually I just dump it out close to where I want to split it or stack it and stack it on the ground on boards, keep it off the ground. Um, if I get my stuff together, sometimes I process the wood right off the trailer and I can do this with this one. Uh, it's been on here for over a week now. Uh, usually I put the tailgate down Put it up on 16 inch rounds and i can cut right on here and leave the garbage on here and split it right off the trailer so if i got time that's what i'm going to do next but uh that's all i got for you today um leave a comment below how what you think of my process how you do it how you do tree service wood if you do tree service wood how do you get wood um be cool to know life is great in the 608. We'll see you later.